Budget Secretary Benjamin Jokno says President Rodrigo Duterte spent his confidential and intelligence funds better than the past administrations. Jokno says the allocation for confidential and intelligence funds for the office of the president remains at 2.5 billion pesos. Duterte on Tuesday signed the 3.767 trillion peso national budget for 2018 into law. Confidential funds are used for surveillance activities in civilian government agencies to support their mandate, while intelligence funds are for information gathering activities of military and uniformed personnel that have direct impact on national security. Jokna says questions on where Duterte spent the funds should be directed at the president. But he gives assurance as the Office of the President submits reports to the Commission on Audit. Confidential and intelligence funds increased by a whopping 400% from its previous allocation of 500 million pesos to 2.5 billion pesos in 2017. These were supposed to be used for the administration's war against drugs, criminality, and corruption. Opposition lawmakers in the House of Representatives slammed the removal of their budgets for 2018, calling it an assault to democracy. Albay Representative Edson Lagman says the move was done in the bicameral conference with the Senate, reportedly upon instructions of Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez. Lagman says the respective budgets would not only fund pet projects but also essential infrastructure in line with the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program. Ifugao Representative Teddy Bagilat says it shows the Duterte administration's desire for autocracy. Rappler sources say the district budget of these Liberal Party lawmakers were slashed. Quezon City Representatives Bolet Banal and Kit Belmonte, Cavite Representative Francis Gerald Abaya, Quezon Representative Vicente Alcala, and Dinagat Representative Kaka Pagao. The budget cut also affects non-LP members who are part of the majority like Ilocos Norte Representative Imelda Marcos and Davao del Norte Representative Antonio Floriendo Jr. Marcos is a political rival of House Majority Leader Rodolfo Farinas, while Florendo has a feud with the Speaker. Data from the Philippine National Police claims the volume of crimes in the Philippines dropped in 2017 by 21.8 percent. The PNP's Directorate for Investigation and Detective Management says there was a total of 100,668 index crimes recorded from January to November 2017 compared to 128,730 index crimes recorded in the same period in 2016. The December crime data is set to be released in mid-January 2018. Index crimes are offenses against persons and against property that are recognized nationwide and used by the PNP to assess public safety. Non-index crimes refer to violations of special laws and ordinances. Because the counts vary as one crosses local government territories, the PNP does not use them as a gauge of public safety. PNP spokesperson Gennardo Carlos says the numbers show the country has become a safer place in 2017. The DIDM numbers show murders fell by 20.6%, with 8,239 murders tallied between January and November 2017 from 10,384 recorded in 2016 in the same time period. Homicide is the only index crime that increased, rising by 14.6% in 2017. The PNP records all killings as homicides and only categorizes them as murder when they find that they're premeditated and intentional. Navigation app Waze says December 22, a Friday, may be the worst day to drive this Christmas in terms of traffic conditions in metro areas across the Philippines. Waze says they based their prediction on data collected over the past year. It also says the worst time to drive on Friday is from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Waze also says Naga City is the area where traffic increases the most during the Christmas season. The Traffic Navigation app also shares a list of the top five Christmas songs played by Filipino Waze users this season. These are All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas by Michael Bublé, Santa Tell Me by Ariana Grande, Happy Christmas War is Over, the 2010 digital remaster by John Lennon, and Last Christmas Remastered by Wham. Waze has a partnership with music streaming service Spotify, which allows Spotify to be integrated within the Waze app. The low-pressure area east of Hinatu and Surigao del Sur intensifies into Tropical Depression Vinta Wednesday. As of 5 p.m., State Weather Bureau Pagasa says Vinta is 735 kilometers east of Hinatu and Surigao del Sur. Vinta packs maximum sustained winds of 45 kilometers per hour and gusts of up to 60 kilometers per hour. Signal number one is raised over Surigao del Sur and northern Davao Oriental. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates.